Our guy Ferris here is a Michigan fan, and he's asking about C.J. Stroud. Now, of course, C.J. Stroud got to a place at the end of 2021 where I don't know that anything more could be asked of the guy. Uh, certainly had a couple of hiccups the first few weeks, but I would consider them minor hiccups and, of course, understandable at that stage of his development. Is there anything left on the table for, you know, it's, it's a constant, you know, Tom Brady's looking to improve from day to day, of course. Uh, that should be the mindset, but what would be the areas in which we could expect him to improve? I'm thinking when there's uh, 20 yards of green grass in front of you, can you just take off and get 12 yards? That would that would be my suggestion. But besides that, I'm I'm at a bit of a loss. I mean, there are things. I mean, you don't want to stare guys down. I mean, I think at some points that maybe. He locked in on certain guys a little too much in terms of going through his progressions. A, a lot of people wanted to say that a system flaw for Ohio State was that their guys didn't go through progressions. So, I mean, I think the certain decision-making type of things. I mean, sometimes there were certain games where it might take C.J. Stroud a minute to kind of heat up or what or, or whatnot. I mean, it just kind of goes par for the course with the position. Uh, you, you don't know until you know if somebody's going to – move forward, step back, or just kind of maintain. But, you know, I think that the belief of everybody coming out of the program is there's still a lot of chicken on the bone with Stroud in terms of his growth. Yeah, Kevin Wilson was very high on him on Tuesday talking about, like, he's he's only begun. You know, he's still got a lot of room to grow, and uh, we already know how good he is currently. And, and so you had Jim Knowles – evoke Eli Manning, Kevin Wilson mentioned Drew Brees in terms of the great ones who are just always working, 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 wanting to get better, said similar things about C.J. Stroud. I thought it was interesting. He just dropped this in that I think maybe some people missed. I think Kevin Wilson was asked about that last touchdown pass to Jackson Smith and Jigba in the Rose Bowl that you dropped over the right shoulder and Jackson caught and and – Kevin Wilson was like, yeah, he threw two of those today in practice. And it's just like now this is the norm for for CJ Stroud. It's like, oh yeah, that you know, that that's old hat. That's nothing. You should see what he's doing now. Oh, and, yeah, exactly. You know, and so that's that's what Ohio State has at quarterback. And the NFL really was impressed with what they saw in the in the pro day. And you know, now he's going to be competing to be the, the number one overall pick, just depending on what teams need at that spot, whoever goes ahead and, and gets that spot. But yeah, I, I don't see like a a redshirt sophomore slump coming. That's not really what anybody has done at Ohio State. Um, and really, that the redshirt sophomore is usually where uh, you know Dwayne Haskins exploded. C.J. Stroud will be. Uh, I think he's going to be better than he was last year. Now, better and being more free can sometimes lead to more interceptions, and so I wouldn't be surprised if that happens as well. But yeah, I'm not expecting any step back. I'm only expecting movement forward, especially as the running game continues to improve for the Buckeyes as well. Yeah, I think that the people around him will kind of help determine uh, how great he plays this year. And that does give you a little bit of pause because Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave, who were uh, two amazing security blankets for him, aren't there anymore. So what you really need is for Marvin Harrison and Mecca Buca, Julian Fleming, Cameron Babb, Jaden Ballard, the tight ends, Travion Henderson, everyone around him that he gets the ball to, to step up and flourish. And, I mean, we know what Jackson Smith the Jigba is capable of, but it's going to take more than just him uh, for Stroud to break some records this year. So, uh, you know, it's going to take a village. So that's the first thing. Second thing is that offensive line that we touched on. Uh, Whipler's back at center, and I thought he was solid, steady. He was fine last year. Uh, Dewan Jones is back at right tackle. They're taking Paris Johnson from, I think it was right guard, and putting him over at left tackle, which could be a natural position for him. He could play guard or tackle, perhaps, in the NFL. you got Matthew Jones, who – has played some on the offensive line at Ohio State, who gets slots in, then at one of the guard positions, and Donovan Jackson, who is a very talented sophomore, who was a national top 20 prospect last year, got to play some as kind of a blocking back a little bit and a backup offensive lineman. Uh, he's getting an opportunity at the other guard spot, 
And from what we hear so far, they, they love Donovan Jackson. So it's going to be a little bit of a different offensive line because you had four offensive tackles and Luke Whipler. So your pass protection was awesome last year. And this year you're going to have more of a traditional look with two guards, two tackles and Whipler. Does the pass protection suffer a little bit? Is the run blocking better? We don't know. Put it into, into, into production and we'll find out in the fall, I guess. That's the only way you'll ever know. But uh, to my way of thinking, Stroud is going to have a huge, huge year. And again, some of it dependent on how some of the young guys who are thrust into positions, full-time positions for the very first time, how they take to those positions. You like what you've seen so far, Marvin Harrison, Matthew Jones, and some of the other guys. But are they going to do it on an every down, every day, every game basis? That's what it takes.